if for people who are feeling impatient because like all we do is talk you never you haven't even said that you like me well did the girl say she liked the guy i don't know Hi hypothetically no I i'm i'm just thinking okay, of like so, general situations so honestly if you're impatient for the guy to make the first move just make the first move yourself honestly just stop waiting Stop waiting. Just make the first move. There's no shame in making the first move and just saying, I like you. Okay, if you don't like me, then we can end this charade. If you like me, then let's take it to the next level. You know, yeah. boom, just like that. Easy. So if you're impatient, just get straight to the point. Just get direct to the point and just say, I like you. I want to take this to the next level. You know, I, I think we'd be a great couple, blah, blah, blah. But if you're waiting for him to respond or him to make the first move, and I know guys, sometimes they take long. Sometimes guys are too fast. But if he's not taking, you know, fast enough, then I suggest you just do the first move. Yeah, I agree. Um, I say be upfront about what you want. But if you don't want to like seem aggressive, you don't want to scare the guy away, just be like playful about it. Yeah, just be like playful, but honest, kind of like, hey, so are we going to do this or what? Yeah, exactly. And honestly, if you feel like it's not going anywhere and you don't feel like they're invested too much, like just cut them loose, you know? Yeah, exactly. You can tell if somebody's serious for you or not. And like I said, I had a friend who went through a whole lot of charades during her quarantine. And, you know, in the end, I told her from the very beginning that this person was not invested in her in the same way she was invested in him. She didn't listen to me. She didn't take my advice. And in the end, they broke up. You know, now she's probably upset about it. She's furious at him. She hates his guts. You know, it could have ended in a more, I'd say, happy note. Yeah. But it ended in the worst note possible. Because yeah, that's sad. She just, yeah, because she just did take my advice. But um, yeah, just look at the signs. Read the signs. If the guy's not that into you, it'll show. He probably won't be as responsive in his messaging. And you'd probably wonder, maybe he's talking to somebody else, right? So just be direct with people. If you're direct... It's the best way to go. And I, I'm a big advocate of being direct with people. And I know Danny is too because she's kind of changed her ways as well ever <laughs> since we started dating. Because yeah. I was very direct with her. And as a result, she was very direct with me as well. Yeah. You know, it kind of just, we just bounced off each other that way. And it really just cuts a lot of, I'm, I'm just going to say it, it cuts a lot of bullshit. Yeah. Like, <laughs> you just cut through all the bullshit, all the games, and you just go straight to the point. And in the end, it's wonderful because you got there at a very correct pace. Mm -hmm. Like if, if you were just dating and, oh, okay, he's holding my hand. I don't know. Oh, he's talking to another girl. Wait, does he like me or not? I'm so confused. Honestly, if you were just direct from the get-go, then maybe you wouldn't be that confused confused mm -hmm. but at the same time like don't show that you're desperate no you can be direct without being desperate yeah i know there, there are ways to do it yeah but it, sometimes if you're too direct don't beg yeah okay like don't but seem you can like just you say, need it yes exactly but you can just say straight up what are we where are we in this are we dating are we not i just want to know you know there's instead of saying please date me you're saying are we dating you know there's a, there's a different in your delivery yeah kind of like don't be wasting my time if you're not serious so it's kind of like from a position of power where like hey you're chasing me okay and honestly, if like they don't want you, then they're not the one. Because sometimes yeah, we... Yeah, don't waste time and don't feel heartbroken. That's, that's the worst part. If you're going to feel heartbroken over a guy who isn't worth it, then you got bigger things to worry about. This is not this is not something you should be feeling bad about. In fact, if he was not invested in you and you feel hurt, just remember you probably dodged a bullet there. Yeah. If you guys actually got together and he just did something wrong in the end and maybe left you for somebody else, you'd feel worse. So it's better to be direct from the get-go and just be upfront so that you know where you stand in relationships and in dating. Yeah, and honestly, if you're always just gonna be there, then they're probably always just gonna be there, but just because you're still available, you know? Like, just because it's convenient, of course they're gonna hang around because you're there. Yeah, so don't also make yourself too available, right? Like, don't make yourself, like, a doormat. Exactly. If you guys want to check out the full episode, click the link on the screen or head on over to Spotify, Apple Podcasts, or wherever podcasts are available. Thanks for listening and we'll see you soon!